Available now. Link below. In a city where the streets are lined with tents and despair, one Democrat mayor has a plan that's raising eyebrows and sparking a fierce debate. Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass is calling on the city's wealthiest residents to open their wallets and buy homes for the homeless. But is this a viable solution or is it a desperate plea that's doomed to fail? Stick around for this special report because my final thought will leave you stunned. Now, in this city of glitz and glamour, the dark reality of homelessness looms large just as the wealthy in L.A. are living in sprawling mansions. Tens of thousands are forced to call the streets their home. But now, Mayor Karen Bass has a bold request for the city's elite, buy houses for the homeless. By calling on the rich to fund housing, she hopes to make a dent in this crisis. However, just like relying on celebrities to fund public schools, this plan raises questions about the role of affluent in solving societal problems. Can the generosity of a few really make up for a lack of comprehensive solutions? Well, the answers might surprise you. Make sure you visit don'twastepower.com and take advantage of a way to slash your energy bills with this tiny little device. Now, a city is grappling with an escalating homelessness crisis. The Democrat Mayor Karen Bass has put forth the controversial solutions that's left many scratching their heads. Her plan urged the wealthy residents of Los Angeles to buy housing for the homeless. They have a population of over 45,000 individuals currently living on the streets. And she announced the launch of the L, uh, LA for LA campaign, an initiative aimed at creating housing for the city's most vulnerable. Now, the mayor's approach has been met with a mix of skepticism and disbelief. Critics argue that relying on the generosity of the affluent to solve the system, systemic issue is not only unrealistic, but it's also unfair. The question whether wealthy Angelinos can even those who claim to be progressive will actually step up and put their money where their mouths are? That's a big question. Take a look. Well, the Fox News and Night Common Sense Department is watching the mayor of Los Angeles abandon a major campaign promise. Two years ago, Karen Bass told voters if they put her in office, she would solve homelessness. Now she's in office and she wants the voters to solve homelessness. Mostly the rich voters, mind you. The ones Mayor Bass calls the, quote, most fortunate Angelinos. So she is asking the same people who pay 70% of the taxes to donate a bunch of money to help the city acquire more properties to house the homeless. Common Sense would like to point out that homelessness in Los Angeles isn't just creeping up, it's dashing up, increasing 80% from 2015 to 2022. And that's likely an estimate because in case you did not hear, California is not really great at bookkeeping. In the past five years, the state spent $24 billion on homelessness only to see the problem get worse. And nobody knows where the $24 billion went. So when the rich donate this money to acquire these properties in Los Angeles where a one bed, one bath house is a million five, what happens then? Who pays the taxes, the upkeep, utilities? Is LA gonna foot the bill? Or is this an annual pickpocket of the most fortunate? By the way, the new program is called LA for LA. Common Sense thinks IOU for LOL might be a bit more appropriate. The Bass, however, remains optimistic. She believes that engaging the private sector and philanthropic community, the city can acquire more properties, lower the cost of capital, and expedite the housing process. Quote, we're asking the most fortunate Angelinos to participate in this effort with personal private sector and philanthropic funds. She explained that during her announcements of the LA for LA campaign. Now, the mayor's Inside Safe program has already moved over 21,000 homeless individuals into temporary housing, but the long-term success of her plan hinges on the willingness of the wealthy to contribute. She claims that this unprecedented partnership between the private sector and the cities is necessary to confront the emergency and to save lives. However, the real question remains, can the generosity of a few make up for the lack of comprehensive solutions? Los Angeles has long struggled with homelessness, and while Mayor Bass's approach is certainly unconventional, it highlights the city's desperate search for answers. As the debate rages on, one thing is clear, the homelessness crisis in Los Angeles demands urgent action. Whether Mayor Bass's plan will be the sea change the city needs or simply another band-aid on a gaping wound remains to be seen. For now, all eyes are on the wealthy residents of L.A. waiting to see if they will answer the call to action and prove that compassion can indeed conquer crisis. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. 
In a city known for its glitz and glamour, glamour, excuse me, the progressive values and homeless crisis serve as a reminder of the deep inequalities that persist within our society. Mayor Karen Bass's plan to engage the wealthy in solving this crisis may be unconventional, but also reveals a harsh truth. The government alone can't fix this problem. It will take a collective effort, one that involves not just the public sector, but also the private sector and individuals who have the means to make a difference. While we may question the fairness of relying on the generosity of a few, we must also recognize the compassion and action that they're the only ways forward. The fate of Los Angeles' homeless population hangs in the balance, and it's up to all of us to ensure that no one's left behind. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.